The Texas Supplemental Nutrition Program for Women, Infants, Children, or WIC is recognizing breastfeeding awareness with many activities and celebrations designed to share resources to help moms and pregnant women with their breastfeeding goals. Joining us this morning to talk more about it is Rachel Stone, a breastfeeding senior peer counselor with the City of Austin's WIC program. Good morning, Rachel. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, you, we brought, you brought a, a few little props, uh, number one being baby, and then you've got uh, different examples of what are modern day breast pumps as well as bags that hold the milk so this is all very helpful uh, but the first question off the top is how does breast milk benefit mom and baby there are so many ways that breast milk can benefit I mean there's the you know the obvious scientific stuff of like you know it's the best nutrition that baby can receive um, it can help you know mom with just confidence after giving birth getting back in shape you know things like that that we discuss with mom um, but honestly too the bonding with baby can be amazing as well um, yeah, from there, um, just kind of getting your confidence back, too. Mm -hmm. I think that's just what can really help. Yeah. Uh, breastfeeding may not be for every mother. H how does one know that breastfeeding is right for them? So that's why I really love where I work, because we allow moms to have that decision for themselves. So I, um, I just want to make sure that everybody has that ability to have the education so then they can make their choices and sometimes moms decisions. just need that that support yes exactly yeah we just want to give the support of where they're at what they're needing those mothers that are able to uh, to breastfeed um, know how how you know breast milk is like gold how does one increase their supply yes so there is a few ways um, Number one, it kind of depends on if baby's directly latching or not latching. So if baby's directly latching to the breast, as long as you're doing feedings like on cue when the baby's needing to feed, which ends up being about every two hours or so, um, then you're good. You don't necessarily need to do a whole lot to increase that supply. Now if baby's not directly latching or you're noticing there's kind of a dip, you can definitely utilize breast pumps and that's where these come in you know if baby is not latching if you're pumping every two to three hours you're gonna be good too it's that all may, about milk removal well I mean maybe that may have been the mistake that I made that I, I didn't realize that you that there was a frequency in in pumping that it, the, the more you pump the more milk will will uh, will come out Exactly, yeah, and that's why I think meeting with a lactation consultant, no matter what your choices are around breastfeeding, mm -hmm. is so important because then they can give you a specialized plan of what you're needing to meet your needs. So. As this month comes uh, to a close, it's breast can breast, pardon me, uh, uh, Breastfeeding Awareness Month, uh, what's the main message that uh, City of Austin WIC wants to share? I would say just that um, we want it to empower you, you know, so whatever your um, journey is with breastfeeding, whether you're the partner that's breastfeeding, whether you're the friend that's breastfeeding, um, we just want to want y'all to know that WIC is here to support you and it's really open to anybody in the communities. So. Mm -hmm. And as far as storage goes, uh, what's the best method for storage? Can the milk be frozen? Should it be put in the refrigerator immediately? We don't want any of that liquid to go to waste exactly so a lot of people um, don't know this, this is kind of newer too but you can actually leave breast milk out as long as it's under three to four hours so a lot of moms will pump they fall asleep they're exhausted you can still give that milk to baby now of course it is preferred to go ahead and put it in the fridge um, it's good for three to five days with that um, and then in the freezer, it can be good up to six months. Oh, that's good. Um, my trick and tip with that is to just um, go ahead and store it in like two to three ounces at a time because once you thaw the milk, it is only good for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. so. that, that's all very helpful information. If our viewers uh, need more information to find out if you qualify for WIC, uh, we've got the information on our screen. The website is texaswic.org slash apply or call 1-800-942-3678. Our guest, Rachel Stone. Rachel, thank you so much for joining us. Today's very helpful. Thanks. We'll be right back.